what's up? You watching the game? Or maybe the one later? Put a little BetMGM action on it, and now any game becomes the game. When you got overs and unders, you end it every time they throw the ball, kick the ball, dribble the ball, maybe it's not even a ball. Who needs a ball? Now that bet's got you watching every inning, half, round, period, set, hole, a lap. Right from the edge of your seat. Hit him with the pro ball. Moments of generosity is when you can actually rekindle and revisit with great friends and have great conversation. Toast to that. Mbutu on three. Mbutu. Mbutu. One, two, three. Mbutu. Mbutu. Yeah. Oh, my Cheers, goodness. Cheers, fellas. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Ah, that's right. Jesus. That's right. <laughs> I think our, there's a lot of defining moments with us as yeah, a group. Sure. Um, I thought the two that, that stand out was the one was on the duck boat before the year when we were sitting on the duck boat. And I needed y'all to buy into me. Cause y'all didn't know me. Paul right, knew me, right. and uh, I gave. You know, we went on. We got the duck boat, which Kevin was like, "What? What, what are we doing on a duck boat? What are we doing? You what mean, is a duck boat? What's a duck boat? He's cussing." <laughs> and we got the duck boat to go on the exact parade route exact. that we we're gonna go on if we wanted. And right. I wanted them to en yeah. envision it. Uh, but then we started talking about what we had to do. Remember, the boat got quiet. It was just us, but. And I said, listen, y'all got to sacrifice. Y'all got to give up this. Y'all got to give up this. Y'all got to trust me. You got to allow me to coach you. Um, and it's going to be hard. And y'all, everyone, you, Ray, that wasn't even a hesitation. Like Kevin's like, I'll give up all my shots. I don't want any shots. And I was like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just saying that we got to sacrifice. And, and then I, we talked about defense. And then the other one was, um, you know, all the young guys, uh, the big, the Mbutu, uh, yeah. big baby. Yeah. I'm telling you, he was a nut. Um, but I call big baby and whoever else with the young guys can't remember who. Uh, Leon Poe. Yeah, I Paul. remember this. Called him in my room in Rome, and I'd done. I've been researching this Mbutu for a month at that point, and I had all. Anne Marie had so many notes, and we had all this yellow stuff written down, and I brought big baby in, who was a fool. And, yeah, and, and, and uh, <laughs> that wasn't and, on uh, that team. <laughs> yeah, and it was his rookie year. And Leon Poe, and I said, hey, so it, tomorrow, to y'all are going to present this word. Right, I and remember I, that. I remember, and Big Baby would tell you, I, I looked at him and said, hey, listen, this ain't no, this ain't no effing joke. I said, um, I, I may cut you guys if you don't do this shit right tomorrow. Right, right. I mean, I, I put the fear of God. <laughs> listen, I'm not kidding. I gave them a stack. Right. Um, and I don't know why I didn't check. That was stupid of me. Uh, they they came that morning. That presentation was amazing. Was amazing. Big was Baby amazing. was the best one. Big Baby, Baby was, like, was the what? best guy. Yes, he but was. what Doc didn't realize is Big Baby majored in drama and theater. Right? <laughs> yeah, I did not. <laughs> but he presented it. He was sweating. He was teary-eyed. Right. Uh, and right when it finished, and he said one, two, three, and boo two, it was over. It was over. Right. It was bought in. Right. And that was from Big Baby and Leon Poe. I'm missing somebody else. But it was awesome. And I thought mm -hmm. as far as us coming together, that was a huge, and especially being in Rome, for whatever reason, that yeah. meant something. We might need to go back to Rome, just the three of us. I'm so. all for it. I'm with it. <laughs> Y'all know what it is, it's taking the truth, man. We got the great Doc Rivers in here today, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. They didn't say that when I coached them, <laughs> but now we good. <laughs> it's always like that, right? No, it's the truth. How you doing, man? I've been great, man. It's been uh, it's been really good. Really? Relaxed. Man, you you haven't seen me this relaxed ever? I, I'm, uh, for real, I was just I was thinking that. I was yeah, like, same thing, dog. Doc yelling on the sideline, marching us. He, 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 look, he look cool, calm, no, and collected right now. it's been right great. Now. You know, sometimes... Like I love, I love coaching. I love what I do. Yeah. But sometimes you need this, and that break. I probably needed it three or four years before that. You just don't know it because you love what you're doing, and then when it's forced on you, you're sitting back. And it took me about the middle of summer, when I remember I think it was uh, Monty Williams or uh, Darvin Ham called me about something about training camp, mm. and I actually said training camp, and it was like a week away. I hadn't even thought about it. That's when I knew. I said, man, this is good. Really good, so. 
But you've been in the NBA how long though now? Though? Say, like man. from playing oh. to coaching, how many years you did? Damn. 40? Damn. Uh, 40 plus. More than half your life. Uh, yeah, I'm 62. That's what I'm saying. I think. You need this. Uh, you need yeah. it. <laughs> wow. Raise your kids from, in it. From like, yeah, my man. kids are, are NBA kids. Like they all yeah. have been in it. Uh, they've been in locker rooms. Yeah. They've been in uh, man. on the oh, road that's traveling. Right. They got years. to. You know, Austin got to play against y'all, which was yeah. the funniest thing <laughs> of all time. That was crazy. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, so I that, went yeah, from seeing good. Austin being on the bus as a little kid, coming to practice, shooting around, to next thing I know, I got an ISO with him at the top of the key. Right. I see him and, Ke <laughs> him and Kevin square off in the game, <laughs> yeah. and I'm thinking, there. Austin was a little kid in the parade. Right. Um, right. Was, yeah, listen, in the parade. Man, right. that, yeah. was, that was probably one of the more odd situations, right? Because I looked at him and, and he said, he, I heard what he said. I, and I was like, that. I said, what you? I said, what you? And I caught myself like, what? Hey, boy. Hey, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. hey, chill out. <laughs> it's good. How is he? How, how's the, how he's are great. the kids? He's great. You right? know, he's doing TV now too. Yeah, I was so about to say. It's yeah. been great. He probably still wants to play, mm. but he loves what he's doing. So all good, yeah. bro. All good. Y'all look good. You, 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 you got to be a proud dad just to have a kid make the NBA and see his progression to where he is now. I mean, you know, we got sons now. We trying you to groom on my son yeah. is, is is 10 years old now. We we wish it could be something like that. So I, I know that's that's been an amazing feeling. It was cool. Uh, coaching him was different. Yeah. You know? Because um, I think if you're coaching a kid, especially in the NBA, you want him to be the worst player on the team mm. or the best player on the team. <laughs> right, right. You do not want him to be in the middle. Right. Because that creates, that can create all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. But it's still, you know, when uh, I had to trade him. Think about it, I had to trade my son. Damn, that is And crazy. Uh, that call, I, like, I was emotional. Because I'm like, man, I got to call Austin to trade him. And he saved me. Like, he was like, nah, it's time for me to go. Right. He said, but I got a chance to play with my pops. Mm -hmm. And he said, nobody else can say that. He said, later, we're going to love this. Right. So it was cool. <laughs> yeah. Damn. How do you like your TV, man? TV's great. You know what's funny? Uh, before I coached, I did three years of TV. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And it, right. it, it was really awesome. helped me because, you know, when you're a player, you're in that system. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know that system. Mm. And so when you're a coach, you create your own system. Now, I've coached for so long, I had different, had a system for y'all. There's one thing I did as a coach is I looked at what I had and fit, made the system fit that. Instead of just having the system, you guys got to work into that, you know. Uh, so now I'm sitting back and I'm going to these practices and a lot of coaches are calling you, you know, for advice. And I wasn't, you know me, I wasn't one of those. When I was coaching, I wasn't talking to friendly. I wasn't having a yeah, conversation no. with a lot of coaches. I had a few friends, but um, I don't know. I grew up in a non-AU career, mm -hmm. so I didn't know everybody, didn't want to. Yeah. I wanted to do, Fact. I don't need to talk to you. But now... I'm talking, I'm talking to coaches now I've never talked to. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. even never had a relationship Holy with. Holy snow, what's and that like? It's been awesome. Uh, they ask you questions and, and you know, so you're learning. I'm always learning. I always, you know, because it's just what you do. So that's been a really cool process. And some of the guys I didn't think I liked, I'm like, man, that's a good dude. Because yeah, you, yeah. you know, oh, really, because you don't get a chance to know any that's of these true. guys. That's I'm so like, true. Man. And there's a, you know, not saying anything. There's a few coaches I was like, my, I just, man, I don't, this guy's terrible. And now you're talking to him, you hear his knowledge, and you're like, man, it's amazing. So that it's been really good for me. You know, I, I, I want to know something because, like, I, I think I've been around Doctor Longus as a player, and I know how he used to coach me. And like, I, I watched toward the end of my career and the transition from like this era of players to the next. Like, how how was that? Because I, I saw a different you, Doc. Come to, from the one that coached me mm -hmm. to the one that coached, like, the next generation. Like, how was that transition? You know, you, you know I, what I'm I, I think there's been three. I've been in long enough. And, and like actually, I want to say, you coached yeah. me hard. We yeah. had some. We, no, I coached hard. <laughs> you you yeah. coached me super hard. Yeah, we had yeah, We had some days. Yeah, we had some tough days, Paul. Like, I remember, for sure. Like, yeah, for sure. Early on, yeah. you know, when I first took the job, and we were going to be very good, but I thought you could be more efficient. Yeah, and for I sure. And I came in, and I said, yeah. Paul, you got to play this way. And you're like. Like we bumped into all star team last year. What are you talking about? <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right. I know you made it, but you right. can be better. Right. right. Uh, I remember we had the conversation with the bot. I think you were shooting like 42, and I asked you, Paul, you a great shooter? And you said, Yeah, I'm a great shooter. You know, <laughs> and I said, Well, 
It's shooting 42%. <laughs> so either you are a great shooter and taking bad shots, right. or you're not a great shooter. <laughs> now, which one is it? Paul, Paul was like, I'm a great shooter. I'm saying, then you're taking bad shots. Let's right. work on it. Right. And give Paul credit. Like, we, we button heads. And then remember, you just walked in my office. You know what? What you want to try to do, we're going to do it. Yeah, I, I did, It wasn't me. Like, I I, was child, I wouldn't I wouldn't give in. I think you knew I was crazy enough. Right, right. This, <laughs> this guy ain't changing. Right. So, but you I did it. Like, I'm going to buy in. I'm going to buy in. But this is a different group. I've had three. Right. When I first started, it was like a different group. Then by the time y'all, different era of guys yeah. uh, where well, you can really coach your group. Um, mm -hmm. And and this group is so much more sensitive mm -hmm. uh, because they have so much more stuff because social media. Right. See, we didn't have that. Right. These guys every day. What, what was the first thing that Book said after the Laker game with the nine call? You know, I was on Twitter. Oh yeah. And, yeah. And I everybody was saying. telling me, yeah. like, because it's a different generation. Oh, These wow. guys, there's people that the the peripheral people now are involved. Where when we were. You couldn't get involved. When I played, think about my first eight years as a player, there's no such thing, I'm showing my age, of a cell phone. Right. No one yeah. had one. Right. So when we got on the bus, we talked to each other. Right. When y'all got on the bus, it was loud. Yeah. You get on the bus now, it is silent. What do you mean? Like you can- Everybody's on their Everybody devices. On the phone. Oh, wow. And so you come in at halftime now, people are looking down, you walk in, and I don't have a rule, but they know you shouldn't be on the phone, but right. just they, and always, you know, uh, Sam can say always laugh. He said, the players have no idea what you actually see yeah. and what you don't see. You know, cause I see everything, you know, yeah. but you gotta act like you don't see it. But you know what they're doing now? They're talking to their individual coach. They're talking to, you know, and every coach, every, all these guys, I've not met an individual coach who has ever called me about defense. You know, so right. that was the rule I made. I had one call me, you know, my guy needs to get more shots. I said, listen, first of all, you're not part of this team, you know, and we're going to do what we need to do for the team to win. Right. I said, but here's our new deal. You can call me about the defense anytime. Anytime you think your guy needs to play harder defense, just give me a call. And I right. said it in a nice way. Call. And I never got a call. <laughs> I never, I never got one call. Classic Doc Rivers right there. Like Classic Doc Rivers right there. They're not working on it. They're not working on it. Yeah. Working on no so D. you don't hear that. But, but, but you got you to gotta understand that, though. They're, they are more sensitive because these guys are criticized more. There's more yeah. people. They read the comments. Mm. You know, they read the, the social media comments. They, yeah. uh, all of them have their own brand. No one had that. So it is different, and, and you got to – be conscious of that. And there was times mm -hmm. I failed on that because yeah. there's times they needed to be coached. Right. And so even coaching like you, you, you would tell, you wouldn't come to me. You wouldn't say, man, uh, Tony needs to play better defense. Paul needs to do this. You would say, Paul, you need to do this. Right. This generation will come to you. The guy sitting next to him. Right. Wow. And um, because the, the, they don't communicate as well. And right. you can always see the teams that communicate will win. And the teams that don't, won't. Well, you can visually see it, and it's obvious. Yeah, who guarding Barner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> hey, who guarding Barner? Man, listen, anytime we're in a personal setting, I have to. I don't even say it, but <laughs> that whole thing was about Ginobili, right? No, right. no. Oh, Hold on, the, the coach is here. So this is the story. Oh. The whole this thing was story. about Ginobili, right? We were there. I had Ginobili that night. We were there to stop Ginobili, right? We were there to stop Ginobili. For sure, he was on the, the road. The 2-4 pick and roll, the 3-4 pick and roll was the <laughs> most famous because he popped, right? Yeah. I didn't have a rotator. <laughs> we were trapping Ginobili. I got no rotator. So Redhead was hitting that ball. Right? <laughs> that was the game plan, right? It was, but I, Look I'll at your teammate. Okay, go ahead. Dog. I'll go tell ahead. you a funny thing. <laughs> So we're at halftime and Bonner's rolling, right? He's rolling. He's rolling. He's rolling. I'm He's like, rolling. God, he damn. never had 20 and a half this time. So, but so, Ginobili is under control. Ginobili the guy we're trying to control. But I, I, and Sam will verify. I told Sam, I said, I'm, I'm going to talk about Bonner. It's going to piss Kevin off. <laughs> right, uh, right. And, but I said yeah, it already. Yeah, that's why I did it. I wasn't doing it for more reasons. It's how he did get it, under his skin. It was, but, it was, but see, that's the thing about our team. Yeah. We can go at each, we can say it to each other before you. I had to do it. Yeah. Right, right. We hold each other accountable. But when and I walked in and said, good. like, who's, who's gotten Bonner? <laughs> he lost his mind. I was fucking 
So I was like, okay, Bonham on foot. And then he was like, Kevin, we're here to stop Ginobili. It ain't about Bonham. You remember that? Oh, yeah. We're here to stop Ginobili and beat oh the Spurs. God. Get out of your film. Oh, I was going to say it. Then Sam said, don't say that. He'll go, no. I said, listen, we're going to have to send some help on Bonham. <laughs> that was worse. I'm like, okay, oh, Doc, that's God. what I'm saying. It was all yeah, good. I'm, yeah. I'm glad we could laugh about that, but yeah, wait till I see Bono next time. <laughs> Bono, you in, if you in any oh. place hooping and I see you, it's your ass, boy. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Basketball fans, it's KG here. Hoop season is back, and I can't wait to kick off this season with the King of Sportsbook. This season, take advantage of BetMGM's first bet offer. When you place your first wager on basketball using my code KG1500, yes, KG1500, you got to register an account and make your first wager. If you lose, you get your stack back in bonus bets up to $1,500. Start the NBA season off right with KG Certified and the authorized gaming partner of the NBA, BetMGM, your boy. Talk about um, calling the games now. One perspective I love is that when you are watching the sets, you, like, I, I love hearing um, the um, the commentator through how you're watching the game as a coach. Yeah, I'm seeing it as a coach, and I'm trying to get people to see it that way. I you love know, it. like last night, uh, New Orleans kept running the 5-4 pick and roll. Yes. And I was like, well, if they keep running this, they're going to keep getting AD and LeBron. Yeah, you know? the two so, best defenders. The two best defenders, and, I was, uh, and you can right. see that. And you need to go away from yes. That's not going to work tonight. That's so right. But that was their bread and butter, that but not against the Lakers. Teams. It just wasn't going to work. So I try to show the, the fan that. Uh, so I want the game to be a positive. The game, we got a great game. Yeah, we do. And I, I, I think it's so easy to criticize. Uh, and, you know, like, I'll, I'll say this. Something I've learned doing TV. Uh, not learn, but you watch players differently. Mm -hmm. um, AD would be a great example. You know, I've, I've been watching him, and I look at AD now, and I said, AD is more Pippen. And, and we don't understand that. AD won a national title scoring six points. Right. He dominated defensively. The defensive, right. And so I actually called Cal. I said, Cal, what, what would you say to that? He said, that's who he is. He can score. He can pass. He does a lot of things right. But if you ask him what he wants to do every night, he wants to be the dominant defensive player. And so it kind of changed me a little bit. There are nights you still should dominate. Right. But when you look at his ability. That's exactly has, right. Yeah. He has the 1A ability. He does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so but like, he did it in New Orleans. But now he's playing with a guy that is 1A. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to do what it takes. So I have changed a little. There are nights you want him to be more aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it has changed me a little bit on that, just, just watching him. That's But changed. when you see those nights where you see him dominant, when yes. he's taking the 1A role, yeah. right? he's 38 and 15. Because LeBron is 38, 39. I mean, he has so much magic. Going gotta, on 20. Yeah. yeah. Right. I need some of whatever he I takes. I said, we all need what he all got. That's yeah. another subject. But like, when you see it, it's like it's, like it's teasing you. And you're like, man, you know he can do this every night. He can do the same things that Embiid does. He can do the same thing Joker. that Joker does. At the end of the day, if you was coaching him, you would tell him it's his mindset. I That's would, pretty much you, it. You remember um, there was a game Cleveland in Cleveland, a playoff game, and I needed Kevin to be aggressive. Yeah. Because Kevin, like, Kevin, we're going Kevin, whether you like it or I not. That. You remember Tony James? I remember that. <laughs> you, Tony, the, the number right. was 20. Yeah. And I kept – I used the word 20 – like 40 times in the speech, I said, we're going to have 20 of this, 20 of this. And the number was, Kevin had to take 20 field goal attempts. Yeah, I remember. And I kept yeah. saying the word 20 until finally you said, I got it, man. I got it. <laughs> 20. <laughs> but, you know, that's what you have to do sometimes. Yeah. Uh, because, mm. Kevin, one thing I'd say about Kevin, you are so unselfish. There were nights I had to remind you that you were Kevin. Because right, you did everything else. Facts. Uh, you know, you remember I'd, I'd say move the ball. Right. And I'd yell at you, right. Kevin, you got to shoot the ball. And you said, you said, you said move the ball. He never told me you to said move, move the ball. It. No, I didn't tell that to Paul. We he all knew what it was. Paul, no, 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 he used to tell me to move the ball. He never had to tell that yeah. to Kevin. Right. Paul and Ray ball. was a different <laughs> subject. <laughs> he never, <laughs> had, to tell, he never <laughs> had to tell that to Tiki. Yeah. He had to tell that to me. Yeah, no doubt. Like, move but, the ball, right. But, yeah, but you do have to. You, you just got to get, get every guy on the team to understand their role for the team, not only for the team for the year, sometimes for that night. And that's the hardest thing about Coach X and O's is easy. Yeah. You know, I always felt, I felt like in a timeout, what I was going to draw, we're scoring. Or we're going to get a good shot. I always felt very good about that. Uh, but getting guys, each individual player, to buy into his role 
And, you know, everybody's not going to get the role they want. Facts. But if you want to win, you have to do that. You're looking at all these teams right now, and like Milwaukee right now, uh, they're going to get it, but they ain't got it. Nope. Yeah, and you can uh-huh. see it. You can visually see it. It's going to take time. Think about Giannis has played one way. Yeah. Dame has played one way. Yeah. And so they're going to have to figure it out, and they're going to, uh, because I think they, you got to be ready to win. And I, you know, I remember that duck boat ride where I told y'all, give y'all guys names. There's a lot of guys. You know, all I'm trying to do is win. And I said, yeah, not really. You're trying to win as long as you get to do whatever under, you want to do. Under your, That's just right, yeah. not the, the case. What's the old saying? Um, the, the individual has to lose for the team to win. There's a lot of truth to that. You know, and that you, you got to give up something. That's real. And uh, so when I'm watching them, uh, you're watching all the new teams that are just put together, even Boston, and they're rolling yeah. when, when Porzingis plays. But I, there's times Jalen, you can see he's off kilter at times. It just takes time. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I understand that you got to lose. I was taking 19 shots. I went from 19 shots to 12 shots a game. I was like, damn. And you became both. But we pitch. winning now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's totally different. But it ain't easy, man. No, for real. Uh, and, and for y'all, especially really now, doing? it's even harder. For mm-hmm. y'all, it's hard. Because I don't care who you are. When you go home, all your boys, all your friends, yep. that we all, I always call them the peripheral opponents because they are. Everybody outside the locker room is the opponent, including families. At times, you know, including films, because yeah. all they're telling, they're never going to tell you what you need to hear. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. And what they're going to tell you is you need to shoot more. You ain't getting enough yeah. shots. Think about it. every single player is saying that. And then the guys who aren't playing, you need to play more. Right. Uh, and to play more, you need to shoot more. I mean, that's what uh, a coach that, has that to fight the, every that, day. That was the one thing, Doc, you were great at is reminding us that. Yeah. Because you knew that as you were, you as a player, and as a coach, you understood that. And when, y'all, when I used to hear you say that, I used to be like, yeah, he right. We had to battle these, these outsiders. Family. We had to battle the outsiders. And when you constantly reminded us, it, it helped us out so much. Because when guys would come into the locker room and feel a certain way, and you bounce that off of us, they'd be like, look, it's, it's bigger than that. It's yeah. about what's right here. And that was key. I swear that was key for us in our locker room that kept it good. But you guys bought in, I mean, we had our days as a group, you know. Um, no, this was after. Yeah. No, this was, you know how it got after we won? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it got triple No, worse. no, it got triple worse. That's, that's what, that, it's triple so hard. Worse. That's, yeah. that's when it yeah. crept yeah. in. That's you know, it's funny. Really now, I that's asked when that Michael. Helped. I, I seek people out that mm. have won it. Mm. And Michael Jordan said something. He said, this is going to be your problem. It ain't going to be uh, it's after you the win victory. It. It's going to be everybody else because every single player on your team has gone away and had the trophy for a week or two. <laughs> right, right. And, and they were the man. And they, they were the, the man. man. Right. And when they come back, you're going to have 15 guys that think they're the man now. Right. Yeah. And he said, it's going to take you all that year part. to get them to get back that to part. who they are. That doesn't mean your roles don't grow like Rondo's road grew, right. you know, mm-hmm. at each year, mm-hmm. you know. But that doesn't mean everybody's, right. you know. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like that's what happened with the Draymond Poole situation. And I don't know, but... Like, just seeing it the year after, just I felt like they won it. And then you know how guys came back and wanted a bigger role. I don't know for sure, but I'll bet you that has something to do with it. Felt like it. Uh, I think, and I don't know either, uh, but I'm, I think you're 100% right. <laughs> you um, know what I'm saying? And you know what I've always learned, and you guys know this, when you don't hear a lot of comments mm-hmm. from the team, you know, That's they the didn't, answer. everybody on the outside thought it was awful. Mm-hmm. You didn't hear one player. Right. Or upstairs say Nothing. anything. So right. you knew there was something in there. Because I saw it with us, but it's just because we could kind of control it within, yeah. and ours didn't get out of control, right. I feel like, and I was like, I know, I, that's the first thing. But I we thought. had fights. There was stuff. Yeah, you know, stuff. That's what people, like, that's the difference, too. Now everything is seen. Everything yeah. is known. I mean, last night in the, in the Milwaukee game, after the game, uh, one of the players went off. And it was reported 10 minutes after that. That's crazy. How is that possible? That, that, should, that, that can't get out. It's saying. okay to have those conversations. We've had, all have had heated conversations. It's part of growing. Uh, but it's got to stay in house. And it's not staying in house with a lot of teams. That's now. one of the differences yeah. right there that changed from our era to now. Yeah. Accessibility. Oh, we, we always, our stuff stayed in house. Yeah. You always yeah. preach that, like nothing leave here. Yeah. Boom, we're going to keep everything handled, everything in. But now, it's, that's not the well, era we're but, in. But 
things stay in house in Miami. Things stay in house in San Antonio. Facts. Uh, Golden State. School. You see that? That was the first culture. time that ever got out. That's old school culture. Yeah. So Pat you still got to protect your culture. Yeah. yeah. And and that's that's where I think uh, if I struggled the most uh, once I left Boston, you know, I went to the Clippers, trying to create a culture. Facts. Went to Clippers. Facts. And that's where you realize how important, like everybody, employees. That's the first time. You know, I was always just a coach, and then I got to the Clippers, and I was trying to do everything. Yeah. Um, and you realize all those employees are underpaid, so they get loyalty. Right. For right. what? Right. You know, their equipment manager, uh, Pete. Yeah. Toronto had been there for 30 years and making 50. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. The average is like 220. I'm about to say, that yeah, he'd like been there. Let me think about that. Yeah. And so when you come in and you're talking to your employees about, hey, we got to all buy in, and, that, and they're like, for what? Right. I'm getting that debate. <laughs> Everybody's getting fired all the time with this organization. Yeah. So, you know, other than winning the championship, that was my biggest success is, is changing the culture, the there, culture yeah. with that group. And it took Definitely. a long time. And it, it you wasted you had to you wasted a lot of equity trying to do it. But it was it was worth it. You know? So worth it. I always wondered, man, would you ever go into uh, ownership? Would you ever I'd love to. Love to. I just need you to buy the team. I think you got <laughs> There's one coming out here in Vegas, so. Yeah. Vegas yeah. Seattle coming up. Yeah, front office that, that, ownership. That, that, that. I, I, you know, the one thing I did, you can't be a coach and a uh, front no. office. I did that for a year. And that's, I was, a, that's a headache, right? You know, Lawrence Frank laughs to this day. It was, it was like game 20, and we're sitting on the bench doing the game. And I turned to him and said, um, this is your last year coaching. And he's like, what? I said, you, you're going to be the GM next year. I'm done with this. <laughs> oh, this was doing the I game. It was like game, game 20. And wow. he was like, what? Are you? I said, no, this is it. This is nuts. I mean, you're wow. watching college guys you talking. Too much. It's just, it's, you know, I don't know. Early, you know, people used to do it. You know, Pat yeah. Riley did it and yeah. Red did it. But the league's gotten too big it's now. Too big, too loud of a special. The staffs are too big. So, you know uh, what I don't understand? Staffs are too big. Too way. big? Yeah. I don't understand the role of the general manager anymore. After, Because you got the general manager and then you got the president. So what's the role of the general manager? Well, it depends on the group. You know, um, to, to be a great organization, it has to be a team. Danny and I, like you can go into Danny and say something about me no, right, without right. me not knowing. Right, right. You know, uh, Danny wasn't going to tell Paul, I'll do this, and then come to me and tell. Danny, when somebody came to Danny there, oftentimes he'd just bring you up, let's go on down. Let's go sit with Doc. The other thing with Danny and I, Danny and I had some drag out arguments. And then we go to dinner. Mm -hmm. We were always, we covered for each other. Um, when Danny made a bad draft pick, you never read that Doc wanted somebody else. Right, right. Uh, or when I said, let's go with this guy, you right. never read that right. Danny wanted somebody else. Right. I mean, Rondo's a great example. So Danny came in to me before the year, before the season. Hey, I want you to look at this tape uh, with Rondo. Um, and I looked at him and I'm like, he can't play. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can't play. That's what I'm looking That's at. That's what you said originally about yeah, Rondo. when I first saw Rondo. Oh, wow. And then I kept looking. And I said, man, this dude can, he can, you know, you start seeing it. Mm. Then I called all the coaches at Kentucky. The report wasn't very good, right. you know, about Rondo. <laughs> so I'm worried. Um, and then he said, hey, you trust me? I said, yeah, we got it. And uh, two days in the camp, I said, oh, man, we got to steal. <laughs> right. I mean, but. No one knew that. Danny never said, hey, I always wanted him. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know and, and Tony's in the room, so I'm going to bring this up. I was going to turn down the Celtic job uh, because I had just left Orlando. I wanted a year. Uh -huh. And Danny calls me and said, hey, can we talk? And I said, yeah. I said, when? He said, now. I said, what do you mean now? He said, look outside your window. Danny just flew all the owners up to Orlando without asking me. Damn. Right. He's ringing right the doorbell. There. Oh, I didn't Ding know that. That's how they, so he comes in. And we're sitting there, and I'm like, that's the hell? Well, that's it was the boss move. Damn, it was right. cool. And we're sitting there, and we're talking about college players. And I said, uh, I tell you, the guy I love, the kid at Oklahoma State, Tony Allen. And the owners started laughing because Danny had just <laughs> said that. And then that made me say, oh, man, we're connected. Oh, right. wow. Yeah, that was, that's a true story. I said, we're wow. connected. Oh, wow. Because Tony was, you know, he was wild. Right. He was your type of player. Chicago. Right. Chicago. Was Chicago. He was my guy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is my guy, man. Right, right. And it was so cool because, you know, some teams wouldn't have seen that. Right. right. And I was like, man, we get this dude. And it was right. We were right. Wow. 
they was like, we need to get him, trade Paul Pierce, and we'll be all right. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. That was never in the car. But Paul, give you credit, because in a generation where everybody just wanted to leave, Kevin, you too, we had to beg you to leave. Uh, the best yeah. thing you did for us is say no. Because we ended up with Ray, you and you had to say, yeah, first. It wouldn't have worked. No. But we had to make that trade. Y'all got Ray first. Because yeah, you said right, no. no. Right. We went to the draft and we right. draft, we end up trading, getting Ray Allen. So now right. we got Ray and Paul. Right. Now he wanna come. Now this guy wants to come. Oh, different. now you yeah, want to. Oh, yeah. now yeah, you, you want to. Yeah. Now you want to get some cinnamons. Yeah, yeah now, oh, okay. now he wanted to come. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Now but you want to get some cinnamons. Y'all got Ray. Yeah. I was like, it's just me we and Pete. We had the I sauce like, on man, the I've side. I've been through something like this. We had it in the right? oven. Now you want to get some cinnamons. And, and I didn't think we can get them. And we were golfing. This dude right me here. and Kevin McHale and Dan were golfing. I'm in the car with Kevin. And we're trying, me and Danny trying to figure out any way to get Kevin McHale to say yes. Y'all working it? Y'all working it? Oh, we were working it. But then Kevin told me, he said, Doc, you know what I want? Well, whoever's the youngest, best big man in the league, you know, that's all I need. And we can get that. And we can just figure out. I was like, oh, then we getting Kevin Garnett. Because we had Al. Right. And I'm thinking, Al was the best young big yeah, man in the yeah, league at the was. time. Yes, so was. when he said that, I remember driving the golf cart and like, we getting all three guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I, I swear. I told <laughs> Danny, where we fit? I said, we getting him. And, he, and I said, just, and he was like, who? Who did we give up? I said, Tell them to name them. <laughs> Get take yeah. all of them. But we had a list of guys you couldn't touch. You couldn't touch Tony. Couldn't touch Rondo. Rondo right. Uh, Perk we needed. Yeah. We knew exactly what we wanted. It's so. crazy. I asked for those exact guys. Is that right? I said, because uh, whenever, I, I, I think I said this to you. I said, I said this to you too. I said, man, um, I'm looking to play with the team I'm used to playing against. And whenever yeah. I played against those guys, BT, Rafe, P, T.A., Perk, I always felt like I got the best team because I watch film. You know, I'm watch two, three games coming to the game. So I was like, man, every time I play Perk, every time I play Perk, they got Perk, into it. We, See, this we, is what happened. We, we, we they the, got into we it, into it the year it before. so much. They did. They, they got Perk. into it in the game the year before. What Perk I didn't looked know, up to him because Perk didn't was know, in the locker room. What I didn't know is that I was like a big bro without being he a big bro. That. Yeah. And I didn't know big fella came out of high school. I didn't even know none of this, right? But Indy Evie's my young fella, right? Look, so when we traded for him, he called me. Like or before we walk in, like he's like, "What's up, nah, Big Perk?" He nah. thinking, I'm thinking, ticket thinking he might have to go hands with him. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he's like, like, "What's up with him?" Because I wanted to get an friction. understanding with him before friction. I came in here, and then whatever we had to get <laughs> right, out the way, let's right. go ahead and get it out right. the way, That's big fella. Because I want you to know, I'm a different type of teammate. That's yeah. what I was shouting. That's what it was. Y'all ain't never played with a nigga <laughs> like me. He like, man, hold on, big fella, you the MVP. I don't give him none. Of that. I'm talking about the locker room. And I was, man, we gonna be like, and I was starting to. Implement on what we're going to be like. Now nah, I'm on defense. I talk like this. And Perk was like, oh, for real? Like, yeah, big like, fella. He, did, like, he didn't know you that Perk, Perk how to talk. How to communicate. Um, you know what I thought? Shows. And, and our, my favorite practice was the first practice oh, yeah. in Rome. Oh, yeah. Because y'all got lit up. We the did. second unit destroyed y'all. I had to, I had <laughs> to respect that. Y'all. Yeah. I started to respect yeah. Eddie House, yeah. Posey, Pose, T.A. They, they got at us. Baby, you know, I was it's like. It's funny. The two things that happened, um, Tibbs had never, you know, I spent some time with Belichick and Tony Dungy that summer. And they were, you know, the offensive and defensive coordinator. I'd never done that. Oh, wow. And so um, I told Tibbs, you can be the defensive coordinator. Oh, wow. And he's like, okay. But he didn't know I meant, like, no, you do run it. So if you don't remember this, but at the beginning of the practice, Tibbs started talking. I left the gym. And Tibbs is looking around, like, where's he going? <laughs> where, where's he going? You know, right. Tibbs. Like, we're in the middle of Rome, yeah. y'all, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sitting in the hallway listening because uh, I just needed y'all to understand yeah, it's Tibbs' voice. Got it. It's right. not my voice. And Tibbs at the price of, bro, you know, Tibbs, bro, you can't do that. You can't, just can't leave the gym. <laughs> I mean, and I was like, you know what's so yeah. funny, though? Know? Because yeah. you started doing that all year. Yeah. yeah. Then, so then now when we had shoot around, yeah. you would leave and Tibbs do, yes. do the scout. That was on purpose because I was purpose. like, because okay. if not, if I'm there, y'all going to look over at me. Facts. And I need right. y'all to look at Tibbs. I, I thought it was really important. And we he were hard on Tibbs. him. We, we were, were like, hard. what the fuck? And then Tibbs' first thing to do is go right into a drill. Okay, yeah. men, let me get two guys on the elbow, two guys on the box. We're going to try five. We're going to... Like, man, what the fuck? We look around. Hey, you want to do that? He's like, come on, man. Doc, men, no, look, men. Doc, <laughs> doc you and Lee. And we'll start him shredding Tiki, that motherfucker. Him and Ticket used to be like, into it. What is this, man? Uh, him I and Ticket used to be into it. There were about 10 different times 
where I was about to open the door because I could hear it. And then I was like, no. No, nah, we ain't doing that. Like, Let's drill. Oh, Let's <laughs> Ticket, it, man. Him and like, Tibbs would oh, argue Lord. so. Not even that. Like, no, we're going to run it this way. We're going to run it this way. Tibbs wouldn't back down from no, Ticket. That's he what wouldn't. the thing was. That's where I didn't know. I'm like at the door. I need to go in. And then the other part of that first practice, Paul called a foul. <laughs> and uh, I was reffing. <laughs> And it wasn't a foul, but I wanted to see <laughs> what the foul. second unit would do. Because usually the second unit would say, all right, Give it's in. a foul. No. And Poe's like, Poe's like oh, no, 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 ain't no, no foul. It ain't no foul. And then Paul's, it's a foul. And Poe's grabbed the ball, <laughs> and they inbounded and kept playing. And I was like, oh, we're going to be good. Ooh, I call We're going to be good. <laughs> and listen, after that first pass, I got back to the joint. You know, you usually go back to each. Man, Paul can't hit the door. We went downstairs. You know, training count, you lay down. Yeah. You know, we went down to have lunch. And we sitting there, I was like, man, I don't really do this on training camp, but, man, y'all saw how that shit looked? Man, that shit looked crazy. That shit looked crazy. Man, I, <laughs> P was like, T, we, P had a ball head. We yeah. all went ball, man. We all went ball. We we went ball. Win I, no, I went, went ball, and then Rondo said, and Perk, the whole yeah. starting five went ball. The second unit, the second unit, the next day, y'all destroyed them. Yeah, it was all It was competitive. That. Competitive. You know, one thing you were talking about, LeBron. Um, you remember LeBron early in his career was, he was, he was a great player, but he wasn't a student. Ooh. Like, um, it's amazing. I think uh, when he got traded to Miami, we had an exhibition game. Mm-hmm. And LeBron started calling our sets. Plays. He and, started calling the sets yeah. out like Rondo. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. coming off the whatever, yeah. whatever. We're going to switch this. And-, and right when he did that, uh, I don't think it was Tibbs. It might have been Tibbs. No, it was um, uh, Lawrence I Frank. I remember or, this. I remember, I remember this situation. Yeah. Whoever was our assistant coach, I turned around and said, we in trouble. oh, boy. We in yeah. trouble. <laughs> no, he was doing, trouble. he was, they was emulating everything. We was doing. We yeah. were doing calling. You remember they had them big long ass uh, football plays, yeah. 31, two yeah. side twists. I was like, what the and f- when he started calling our sets out, Tony Allen is coming over here. Here comes Paul. We're gonna switch this I right was here. like, oh my gosh. LeBron he learning, he learning. has become a student. Checked out. Mm-hmm. And now when you watch him now, yep. it's like he's playing chess, everybody else is playing. It's yeah. ridiculous now yeah. watching him. Yeah. His brain has evolved to yeah. where he's at. It's amazing. Exactly. He didn't always have that. Yeah, that's why he's still dominating. Oh, he, he can play forever right now. When you watch, I watch, yeah, that's just crazy, watch them. Right? He's moving two steps earlier before they pass. And then they, that's crazy. We've never amazing. seen nothing like this. No. Just like, I don't even care what, he's 21 years in. and just I'm looking at his movements. I'm thinking like, by the time I got to my 15th year, I was like, it was, it was hit or miss how I was going to feel getting out of bed. 15. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was hit or miss if my big toe was going to work that day or my ankle or something well, was going to Give him credit. He puts it all. He works. And, 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 um, you know, Energy level is crazy. And I hate to go uh, debate. You know, I'm a Michael guy. We, uh, are, we I just all think. are. I think. But that doesn't mean anything bad about LeBron. No LeBron's going to have the greatest career right. ever. Right. It's no yeah. doubt. He's going to have a GOAT career. Yeah. Uh, but as far as, for me, the single players, Mike, but it doesn't matter. That'd make LeBron yeah. bad. That, no. that, I don't know why I feel like if you say one, that means you're putting down the other one. They're both amazing. Me, My- we used to be in the locker room, and you know the new younger guys, they yeah. like, man, LeBron's the best player ever. Yeah. Like Doe, Doe would tell you, Doe would for sure tell you that. But they ain't see, you know, what I'm saying Black Mike, and it's always gonna be that from generation to generation. Even when you hear Kareem speak. Or, or when Bill Russell used to say yeah. stuff, it's just like I did die this, thinking Bill Russell. Exactly, Facts. it's gonna but be like that. I always was a generation. Bill Russell guy, Facts. you know. But it's funny with Austin growing up, I would Austin like LeBron's, you know, yeah. and I would send him video, mm. and I sent Austin a video like two weeks ago, and it takes back. All right, Dad, <laughs> I get I got it. it. <laughs> All right, I, I got it. it. Right. MJ was the best. That's right, what he right. sent me back. But it's a fun debate, but I just yeah. hate that when you do it, people think you're putting down one guy or the right. other. I think right. they both have transcended the game in a different way. Obviously, we've never seen someone have 39,000 points, 66,000 minutes on the, the minutes. goddamn floor. Yeah. We put time into this game. We know when I'm watching a 38-year-old have more energy than 21s, 22-year-olds, 29-year-olds, he is arguably the most... He, he's, 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 he's everything on the floor. So that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. I don't want to be in 223 watching something of the past. I want to be in 223 watching something of the future. And well, that's what I'm embracing now. The past is happening right now. It, man, listen, <laughs> it, it's happening. He's dominating You know right what now. the scary thing I think about, too? I'm like, damn, 
Like when LeBron go, like who who gonna be that face? Who can really carry the torch? Somebody like we will. Went from Jordan. And I think in the early 2000s, it was multiple players. You know, it, had, it was yeah. Kobe, Duncan, it was committee. Shaq. It committee. was a committee. Yeah. And then LeBron took over solo. Yeah. So now I'm looking like, damn. LeBron and Steph. I don't think we give Steph enough credit. Yeah, Steph. Because Steph is as much of a game changer as anybody in our lifetime. Mm. Like, you go to AU game now, ain't yeah. nobody dunking. No. You remember everybody. when you go to AU game, nobody took a jump shot. Everybody Facts. was Facts. doing that. You go Facts. to the AU game, people shoot from half three. court. Shoot yeah. three. Everybody shooting. That's from one dude. Mm. So, uh, we don't yeah. give him enough credit. Yeah. Think about it. He's won the most titles of, of, of that group. Yes. Um, yeah. And watching him now, still. Yeah. And Durant now. Yeah. The three oldest players are dominating. Yeah. But see what the kids do, they say, I can be Steph. Yeah. Because I can't be Durant because I'm not growing to seven feet. That's exactly right. I can't be the LeBron because I'm not going to be six, eight and, and buff. But kids look and say, I can probably I can be, be him. Steph. Yeah. You know, six, two, six, three, and, and, and can shoot really well and move without the ball. That's, that's, it's unrealistic, really. But like, it you're is. not going to be the great, but they, it's more realistic But today. they ain't going to put in the time. Right. Right. You know, you um, think so? Steph, man, machine. he works. He's a machine. He's a machine. Yeah. He works. And, you know, listen, all y'all, it's, it's no, it, think about every team you played on. You were the best player on your teams, but you also were the hardest worker on your right. teams. That ain't a coincidence. Ray Allen was our best shooter, right? Who took the most shots? If you count it the entire time we were at together, who took more shots than Ray? I remember thinking, okay, you want to be a better shooter? But the, the better shooter it's is taking, the most is taking shots. more shots in practice. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a Tiger Woods story. I was golfing with, like, three other professional golfers, and I'm not going to use their name. Right. Um, but we're golfing, and uh, Tiger Woods was on the range. We finished golfing. He's still on the range. Now, that's four hours later. We go eat. It's now a pouring rainstorm. I mean, it is in Orlando. It, and there's no one there except for Tigers on the range, hitting balls in the rain. Um, because the British Open was in a week and a half and he thought it may rain, so he had to play through it. And I called wow. one of the guys. I said, can I ask you a question? Uh, Tiger Woods is the best player, right? He said, oh, God, yeah, by far. You know, he's the best, maybe the best in history. And I said, um, you think he works out, outworks everybody on tour? And he said, yeah, man, he, he outworks all of us. I said, okay, now he's number one now. He's outworking you now. Wow. How can you ever catch him? Wow. Like, right. when you think about it, wow. and I started thinking about that with shooters, uh, with ball handlers, like these guys, I don't think guys understand how hard it is to be great. And everybody wants to be great. And then like when they get the job, like when the number one player is gone for a week or two, they realize, oh, well, I don't want this job. This right. is hard, you know. And so it's still, it still comes down to the work ethic. I know you have a love for coaching. I know that this break is great. Could you ever see yourself in any capacity coaching again on this level? I don't know, Kevin. It's got to be the right. Facts. It would have to be a perfect situation. I know one thing. Perfect I don't, meaning what? Define perfect. Perfect I mean, means we have to have solidified a player already. great team in the front office. Oh, okay. You have to be on the same page. Got you. I know we're not going. Yeah, you can't be. I know where he's going. Be. I'm you know, going. We're going to see him in San Antonio when Pop go. No, 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 no. I'm no, telling no, you. No, no. That's no. when Ben Yama going to be developed. No. He going to be ready to go. I, they, look, I know where he's going. If they no. bring a I'm team, calling it now. Look. If they bring a team to Malibu. I'm calling it now. If they bring a team to Malibu. I'm coaching that team. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want the Pepperdine job? Give me the Pepperdine job. <laughs> the, Malibu, the Malibu waves? We would, we would, we would be strong. We would be unbelievable. But no, it, it's uh, uh, like it's so important. For you, you, you just can't do your job as a coach in our NBA now right. if you can't, you know, what do they say? Um, culture happens when you turn your back, when you're not in the room. You know, if, if I can't leave a room and feel good, yeah. then you can't work. And so you have to have that. And you got to be on the same page, man. It's too much for you not to be. If you want to win, you better be. So Damn. that would be my answer. If not, TV. I'm going to play a lot of bad golf, you know, because uh, I talk about golf. People think go I'm really there. good. We need to get out right, listen, listen. listen. When are we going to get out there with oh, golf? We're we going to get an invitation, you know what I'm saying? And now that I'm here, so y'all get, 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 so get, 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 get me kicked out of a club. No, no, no. I'm worried about y'all. No, no, no. No, we not. No, we not. Y'all going to wear the right stuff. No, don't. No, Wear the right stuff. Man, listen. I'm going to have my polo on. I'm coming with etiquette. I'm coming. I'm going to have my whole outfit. 
I may uh, leave my uh, golf listen. game in the car, but I'm coming. We're going to a couple whenever, of cigars. Whenever it happens, we're going to have a good whenever time. Whenever it happens, we, we bring cameras. I want to play best ball, too. <laughs> I don't want to play all that, like, my ball over here. Okay, who got the best? Okay, drop right here. What right, we here. That means we're going to be playing. That's not golf. That's golf how we're going to start off. Okay, you know we'll what I'm saying? Let's like, start off we'll like play. this and then get good, warmed yeah. up. Because bro think he better than me, and I'm, I'm ready to wax, bro. Bro, you not bad than me, bro. I've been at golf tech Bro, you just, bro, you ambidextral. You play left hand. I've been at golf tech. Man, listen to this. I'm from the hood. You've been going to golf tech, golf. I might believe. Lord golf. I've been going to golf tech. I got, got two sets of clubs. Wood. I'm going to go with Paul on the golf. See, though. that's no, bogus. I got him. So I got him, I got him <laughs> right they, now. Look, they look, they got the same birthday. Nah, I'm locked yeah. in right now. We're Libras. We're Libras. To what? I'm locked in. To what? To working out. Man, ain't locked out. Lock this man up, man. And what? Hey, whatever, nigga. And what? Well, like we were saying, I've been hooping. I've been hooping. And? See, this I is mean, what I had to hey, deal with. Like, hey, you don't know what I'm doing. This, right. is, a, this is a timeout. Right. Man, come on. Yeah. I don't want it right there. I want it right here. <laughs> no, I want it right here. So that, yeah. Like, that's what I, I want right to ask y'all. When I came to timeouts, <laughs> and let's say one timeout, end of the game, I went to Paul. One time I go to Ray. One time, what would y'all think when it wasn't y'all? So let me say this. Real yeah. shit, I'm, let me go first. Go ahead. At no point did we ever envy who shot it? Because yeah, we had no. the belief in all three of us. As long as it was all three of us. Real shit. Or probably Pose. Because Pose been there, right? Yeah. But we felt the, we felt the uh, responsibility to take the big shots and make the big decisions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if it came from P, and I, you had to be ready. If it came from me, right? And that's how I can honestly say we never, or we never talked about no, listen, having any issues with whoever no, I did, shot. I did. I remember Doc drew up a play one time. And I had no involvement in it. And, you know, I done made some game winners, but he drew up the right play. I remember it was in Philly. I'll never forget it. He drew up Real. a play for, for, for a lot for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. to win the game. Yeah, yeah, I remember this, yes. Rondo, and I wasn't involved. I was, like, over here. In the something. corner. And I was just like, damn, I'm not even in the play. But it worked. It, yes. it, you know, we won the game. Was just like, yeah, but, you know, it was the most satisfaction for me just to have those teammates when I used to see you make a game winner or or, or the pressure wasn't on me yeah, no facts, more. Facts. Like when I see Ray hit Ray one, hit I'm the like, shot oh, and, and, it yeah. was just like for me to yes. watch that. Yes. My, my favorite play with like, y'all, oh, well, there's damn. a couple of them. Um, one was a lot for Rondo against Miami. That was beautiful. Um, oh, yeah. One oh. was we ran up. I was at an AU game. Yeah, remember? Doc made me the out of bounds man yeah. that day. I'm like, oh, I'm not taking out the yeah. no, I'm at Miami. an AU game. No, in Miami. In Miami. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. For the round I'm taking the ball out. Yeah. I'm, I, can, I can make free throws down the stretch. I can make a shot, yeah. but I'm taking the ball out. I'm you like, remember the time I said, Paul, can you make this pass? You're like, yeah, I can make the pass. But you were thinking, I need the ball. Right, yeah. right. And we also ran against Cleveland playoff game. I was right. at an AU game. And uh, I think it was Austin's or Jeremiah's team yeah, in high school you, play. I oh, I remember. And, and you then, called it high school. And then we, we, we drew it up. In practice, we ran it and it scored twice. But we got in the timeout. And you said, let's run high school. <laughs> right. He and high I was school. like, uh, no. no we, we, we we ran it. Was, Come on, coach. Let's run high school. And it's two times this happened. I'm telling y'all now. <laughs> uh, so I, I draw it up. And I remember sitting on the bench. And Tim says, what we draw up? I said, it ain't going to work. We, we, we're running the high school play. I actually said it's it not going to work. Dog, it but worked. they wanted to run it. And sometimes as a coach, you go with, go with it. Paul gets a walk. He just walked Wide into a layup. layup. I and then the other one was we scored on the three with Ray against Philadelphia the year before. Mm-hmm. And you, all four of y'all, you, Ronald Ray, y'all all said it. We're in a timeout and I drop another play. And Ronald says, let's, draw, let's run the same play we ran against him last year. I said, we can't run the same play <laughs> that we ran against the team last year. It's not going to work. And all y'all, oh, it's going to work. It's, it's going to work. Burst and these I was the only other time I came to the timeout. <laughs> and that time I was, Sam remember, because Sam was might have been coaching my, yeah. I was literally like, I walked to the huddle and Tim's, I said, man, this is the dumbest thing <laughs> I've ever done as a coach. He said, what do you mean? I said, we're running the same play. Yeah, it's not going to work. And it worked. And Ray was so, when he was so wide open, and it's funny how uh, the real story, the media, they think we're, y'all are celebrating. But y'all are pointing at me. We told you. <laughs> we told you. And y'all was, y'all was so happy to be right. <laughs> we so know, happy that shit worked. You know, because oh, if it did work, man. You know, that's the beauty, like, just like with Doc, <laughs> because, like, we can go into the timeout and he'll listen to the players. Yes. And I, and I think that I think that's an involvement of a coach. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, the coach going to do everything, but when he listened to us sometimes, yeah. it's just, that's what made the relationship well, so though. great. Yeah. Well, that came from y'all listening to me. Hey, yeah. listen, y'all let me coach y'all. Yeah. So I had to. 
If you allow a coach to coach you, you're going to give the player everything. You it be days. It be timeouts. I do. It be timeouts. We go into the timeout and Rondo would drop the play. Yeah. Remember that? Rondo, he'd be like, all right, I got to play Doc. And Rondo would drop a play and Doc Rondo's would be the only there. player. I did it with CP <laughs> a little bit, but Rondo's the only guy. Remember, Rondo had my play sheet. Yeah. yeah. He's the only guy I would do two play sheets. Wow. And I would give Rondo one before the game. And it was amazing, man. That dude is the smartest basketball. Yeah, IQ-wise. His, his brain. Yeah. He would come in the timeout, and I'm like, 52 twists. He's, he's already doing it with his mouth. He knows what we're running. He was brilliant. Yeah, he made not way. only he, our plays, but the other team plays. You shocked he's not in coaching? He will be. He will so? be. Yeah, he's just too smart. He now, will be. He ain't going to be the most patient coach because he's too he'll, smart. He'll evolve. But he's growing. He's growing. Grow, grow, grow. I wasn't. When that's I first wrong. came in, I was. But wasn't. you evolved. That's what it, you learned. You coaching evolved. is patience yeah. and big picture. Yeah. You got to stay on the big picture. Like, you know, the other night, New Orleans get blown out. You know, that, that's a game. You say, all right, guys, go to the restaurant. Go have Ooh. a good time tonight. Right. You're in Vegas. Right. right. I'll see you tomorrow. It worked. Uh, and then there's times when you're winning, which y'all would notice, that's what I was on my. I, when we lost, I was not off. When we, we start winning too much, that's when I got rough. Because right, right. I can feel y'all walking up. around with your shades on. <laughs> and I'm like, here he we about go. Me. He we're about, we're me. about to go <laughs> to a bad place. And that's when I got on y'all. You know, right. so. But y'all were great it. to coach. Oh, I love man, it. I used to love when you actually gave us a chance. We would come, and Doc would sit right here, and he wouldn't even say nothing. And this all five of us would be in the uproar. We'd be arguing, conversating, with whatever, whatever, like, whatever. Done? Y'all done? And then he'd be like, you're done? Okay, y'all finished? <laughs> y'all done? Okay, cool, this is what we're doing. <laughs> this is what we're doing. And that was, to me, that was, that was, that was the icing on the cake because we had to be able to interact yes. and deal and he talk to each that. other. He allowed that. He allowed us to be us. We didn't have to be someone else. And every guy in this and in this right, right. was himself. I didn't feel like I was getting... Uh, another form of TA. I thought that I was, or another form of baby, or another form of dog. I felt like all of us was who we are, he and we were. And he allowed you to be yourself. Yeah, though, I remember one in Indiana. Oh yeah, that was that a was, rough one. That, that but, probably been the roughest night but, of all of but us. But that was, you know, what's funny about Wait, that? What happened in Indiana? Man, we stop. clinched the game. Stop, man. And you and uh, Brandon yeah. Bass oh, yeah, about yeah. to fight. About to get it. And the then oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting there. Kevin's yelling at me. You were getting involved. You were getting bobbed, and I, I, and I was them. trying. To, I was trying yeah. to have the coaches stay out of it, yeah. and we was trying to resolute. And then it, the, the locker room just went up. Went in up. But I sat there and I waited, and then Ray and Paul. I mean no, Ray, Ray and, and Rondo. Uh, Rondo started getting into it. Oh right! But I got to right. do the media, right. so y'all right, don't right. even know this part. That's right. I forgot. So that. I'm, y'all arguing, but I got to go out and do the media. The media's outside the door. When I, I so I, you remember I left the room. Yeah. I could hear you still Holy fighting shit. and arguing, and I walk out to the media and I said. Listen to and our guys. And we won this game. Yeah, we, we won, won the game. game. We won the game. Uh, we won the position. game. We won the game. game. About to be the worst We're in there game fighting, life. and I walk out to the media, and I said, listen to our guys. <laughs> They're celebrating. I said, <laughs> nah. I said, this is the most wonderful team. <laughs> You know, we about to have like two yeah, fights. And they're in there fighting at the time. We're about to get it <laughs> on. Yeah. It's about to be the Royal Rumble yeah. in here. Real <laughs> shit. And so fight. I actually said, I'm not going to let y'all in right away. I'm going to go back in and celebrate with the guys. <laughs> and I had to go back in and break up the fights. <laughs> <laughs> and the media I never found it. out. Right. No one ever right. found right. out, which that's is right. great. That's right. And it got squashed. But, you know, those things, are, that's part of families. Uh, yeah. It really is, man. I've, as a coach, that's what you mean. I've had some crazy... You, you just, gotta write a book. Uh, Ooh. I ain't gonna change the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Because the coach takes it the hardest. Y'all don't realize that. Because you always think, like, I, I got y'all to play together and work together. Yeah. Uh, but when you can't get two to work together, you can't win. And people don't understand that. You can be as good as you want. I always look back on the Clippers team. If, if we had had cooperation, mm. we had it the first year and yeah. we just lost. All right. All right? but then you didn't have it anymore with each other. Not just with coach, player, player. If you think you're going to win without that, isn't that what the one thing y'all learned more than anything? Like, you can't win without it. And for me as a coach, I don't understand why players can't see it. Like, you got to get along. You got to give up. You you got to. When I got to the Clippers, that's when I saw the change in dynamic of the league. Yeah. Because I got there, and me coming from where I came from with the Celtics, how we was all together, and I remember our first, I'll never forget our first role game, and we had breakfast. And so I go into the breakfast room, 
and everybody's sitting at different tables. Different tickets. Table. And I was looking like, what you mean? I mean, you might have CP over here, Blake over here. And, I mean, it was like so spread out. I never seen nothing like it to where us, we gonna come and sit at one or two tables and talk about what we did last right, night right, right. or the facts of the day. You know how right, we, we right, gonna conversate. Right, right. We gonna that. have what we gotta do tonight. All oh, that. So if, if you had a function, yeah, everybody was coming. Everybody right. came. Right. I mean, right. We had team dinners that I threw. Everybody didn't come. Yeah. To go. I mean, it was it was what? just it, it was hard, dude. I seen I seen it for the first time, and I was oh. like, I ain't used to this. You know, and then I remember I said, I said, I brought everybody in at the table when I got, I was like, y'all got to be together, sit together, you know, ooh. Chris, Chris Paul had a, a, a charity event and it was on like two of his teammates there. And I looked like, I'd never seen this. You might went off the next day in practice. Yeah. So it was like, that's, if, if somebody yeah. has something, we all everybody got to be there. You had to, you had to say that? You had to say it over and over oh, wow. and over. We never had yeah. that. And I was and, like, and this is time for me to retire. So I got to Philly, same stuff, oh, wow. you know, and, and that's where, like, you know, we get into ourselves. I'm busy. I remember one of the players said, "Man, I'm busy. I got." That. I said, "I'm busy too. Oh, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go. Right. You think yeah. I want to? You know, look, Kevin and Paul having a big bowling. You think I want to go bowling right. on Thursday night? No, but they're having it, and so it's part of sacrifice. You go, and that's right. what you know. Being in the, uh, you know, with my daughter, uh, Mary and Seth, you, you kind of." hear Steph and then talk about, go, that's what they have. If Steph shows something, everybody's there. Right. Jeremiah does something, everybody. Those yeah. are the teams that win. It's no exactly. coincidence. Like, winning is not an accident. It's not, man. It's either, either you buy in or you're not. You'll be good. You'll win a lot of games. Yeah. Uh, but you ain't going to be the winner. Right. I love it, man. Who, Who you like this year? I'm about to say yeah. that. Who I you don't like? know. Who you got to win it? I don't know right now. I really don't. I think Boston... In Milwaukee, I think Philly's a sleeper. It is. They are, because Joel is, he is, people, I mean, I coach him. He is, is he's as good as I've ever seen. Mm. Um, they're dangerous. And then there's always another team. Miami. Miami is always there. Indiana, you better be careful. I would, like, Indiana, you should beat in the playoffs, but I would not want to play them in the playoffs. Orlando. Uh -huh. Orlando's like Orlando's Indiana. young, and, they, and they're deep. They deep, and they yeah. scrappy. But what I was about to say, one thing I love about these young teams, Indiana and Orlando, they got dogs. They got dogs. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> what about OKC? OKC in the West. Shea? Yeah. I mean, listen, I was part of it. Oh, what yeah, you think about that right. now? I, I oh, still my God. Are you shocked at his? He no, don't become no, Shay, though, no. if he stay on the Clippers. Yeah, he does. He does? He, he does. does? That's Sam. That's I was about Sam. to say Sam had You can man. ask Sam. When we did the trade, I told Sam, I said, man, I know we got to do this trade, but but Shay's going to be a superstar, man. Wow, He's you gonna saw be a, it? Oh, you can see it early. Yeah, I did. You can, part of the I rookie guess year, he's a superstar. He had a great rookie year. He did. And the other thing he has is character. He's a high-character kid. He works, he, he wants to be coach. Yeah. He wants, like he invites coaching. Um, and he's got to, like people get Shea wrong. Shea's a dog. Yeah, like no, Shea's got sure this that. nice, you know, demeanor. Oh, but he is a dog. Like he wants to tear <laughs> yeah. you up. But he does it in the smiling. Facts. Then the, but Shea wants to rip you up. Damn, and, all right. and you can see it. But now when I look back, oh my goodness, but six first round picks. Yeah. Damn. Holy goodness. <sighs> Wow. Oof. Are you are you worried about Golden State any uh doc? Yeah, I am. I you know, um it's just like us towards the end. You gotta break this but, up. But they still could uh they may make her two thousand ten run. You know. Right. I know one thing. Do you wanna play Golden State in the playoffs? No. No. And then guess what? No. Clay Thompson going through probably arguably his worst time, right? Yeah. I I I really believe this. You do not stay in this wave for too long. And at some point you come out of it. Yeah. I'm about like you. They they are one of them wounded animals that you don't want to see, and I think they're going to be better the second half well, of the year. Well, Clay, uh, Draymond is still Draymond. Yeah. Steph is still Steph. Wiggy is better. All right. Clay is not going to be the Clay that he right, was right. ever because of injury. Talking about right. a better but, version of what he's doing he can now. Still shoot the hell out of yeah. the ball, yeah. and he'll find his rhythm there. Mm. Um, you know, they may need one more guy, and I don't know who that's going to be, but man, I would not want to play them. No. Uh, in a seven-game series, they're going to be rough. If I'm a young team, go. I don't want to play that. No. 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 Sure. Um, Phoenix is the team, though, man. Like, they're, they're built to win. 
they just haven't looked good yet. Yeah, they got the know? question mark on but them. They, they're, they're, but they've had injury, you know. Uh, Book gets hurt uh, because of his style. Yeah. Book's a physical, and then Bradley ain't played yet. Yeah, I'm And I'm worried about that. his back. So, uh, but when you think about that, and then you have uh, Gordon coming off the bench, yep. I mean, they, they're, they're built to win. Yeah. So, if they get it right, they're going to be tough. But at the end of the day, you still got to deal with that dude in Denver. He's the best player right now. Yeah, because he just does everything. Dominant. Joel's the best scorer. Yeah. Like, but he Joker's can't stop the Joel best player. Joel's right. the only guy that can stop Joel from scoring. Yeah, right. You can't, can't stop him. Right. You know, he is, he's, he can do everything. But, but the Joker, Oof. man, he just makes everybody better. Um, they run their oh, whole team, yeah. they run their whole offense. Just throw him the ball. You know, Austin, we, we laugh. Austin to this day says he ruined the worst pass in the history of the game. Uh, he said he was cutting through, just jogging through, and said the ball right. came. And he wow. caught it, but he was on the rim. He hit the, and he, he said he watched the highlights. He said, how he saw it, where he sees. I was talking to Bruce Damn. Brown today. He was like, man, it's mm -hmm. nothing like it. And that's what yeah. makes him so good. Awkward. He's one of the most dominant, selfless oh. players that I've, I've ever. probably ever seen. Ever. Like, you don't see a big get be so selfless, but still so dominant. And we ain't talking about the, the West is going to be. The West playoffs yeah. is gonna be a zoo. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna, crazy. It's gonna come down to matchups. Right. People don't That's get into what matchups or not. Yeah. I think there's no clear favorite. I think the style is gonna make the fight. Like yes. if they have to play them or they have to play them, that's going to determine. There's certain teams that are maybe the best team, but and they can't beat that team. don't sleep on the Clippers track. now. Yeah. Clippers yeah. are playing better. Yeah. I said don't that sleep all year. Uh, I said that all year. The Clippers, uh, they're just so talented. They're a wild right? card. Um, uh, I agree with that with the Clippers. If they figure that little thing out, because Kawhi's still Kawhi. Mm -hmm. uh, people sleep on him. Paul, I feel yeah. like Paul George has taken the lead lately. He, he has scoring, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. James, what James has added to them is now they have Zoo rolling, so they have a pick and roll. So James is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. If you roll, yeah. you can get that. Decision you know, the question will be, will he defend enough for them to win? Because last year, the Clippers were a defensive team. In a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. All right, yeah. finals picks. Finals picks. Who you got? All I right. got I got Celtics versus Phoenix. Who you got? You, I'm going to let you go. I'll go left. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. I'm between Celtics and Boston and then Milwaukee, and I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go with the Celtics, but that's a tight one. It's, it's, it's close. It's going to be tight. Uh, and then I got, um, I got Denver. They were coming back. Yeah. Though they do miss I Jeff Green like, and, 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 Brown. and Brown. They, they miss both of those guys. I See, do. I don't feel like they're like they're being they're champs, but they're being slept on. But they were slept on last year. Yeah. And Murray has been out, uh, just got back. And no offense. But I don't feel like that, you know how in the past you like, all right, the team that wanted that next year, you like they like I don't yeah, we were better the next year. Yeah, that's yeah. why I don't feel like that's that. I feel like they <laughs> this could be food doesn't get hurt. Oh my god! <laughs> right. I think we were twenty six and three. Yeah, Paul brought that up the other day. Yeah, we were we were we were rolling, dominant. Rolling. It's rolling, a couple rolling. teams that the next year that year we should have won two thousand six, and then the year we had Shaq that that start, started off too. You know, people forget like <laughs> Shaq. Year? We I think we were like fifteen and one in the game Shaq yeah. played in. Yeah, wow. he was just too old. Yeah, couldn't play anymore. His presence alone was great yeah, for us. Yeah. Oh man, he was good. And I, I remember the one practice where you put Jack, Jack wanted to change coverages, and Kevin says, "Hey Shaq, this is what we do. That's how we <laughs> right. do it. Yeah, right. That's right. We this got is you, what big we fella. do. We got All you. right. We ain't changing. Right. I remember and that. And give Shaq. Shaq was like, All right. That's when I knew he was on board because he was like, Okay, you ready, fella? You got it. We're gonna do it. How y'all do it? Yeah, we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it this way. Big fella, I got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know what's funny about Shaq? I've been around Shaq my whole life, right? Coached against him, played against him one game. Right. I never knew, like, this is a crazy statement. I never knew how big he was. Because I've never around him. Right. And you remember he wanted to play with us. So he said, hey, coach, can I drive over to your house? It was in Orlando. I said, yeah, come on over to the house. Let's talk. And he pulls in the, in the semi truck, which I made him park on the that, street. That, that, that I said, man, you ain't bring that big thing in my driveway. Ripped my driveway up. The diesel. <laughs> I said, park this thing on the He was in the, the diesel, diesel, diesel truck. I remember that. Yeah, I know the Superman truck. logo. Yeah. But then he gets out and I open the door and I'm looking at him. It's Shaq. And I'm like, Shaq is a big dude. <laughs> you know, like you forget. Trust me, I knew I knew when we sat on the bench. Y'all knew because y'all had to play against each other. No, no, no. When we sat on the bench 
I, I, Shaq sit with his Shaq legs sit, wide right. open. Shit. So I'm, I'm over here. We, we over here like I'm this like, on the damn bench. Big Sean, can you uh, <laughs> Hey, y'all, man, y'all slide down, man. Y'all slide down. Long, man. <laughs> if Shaq could have, he just couldn't stay healthy at yeah. that. But if he could have stayed healthy, whew, right, damn. Which tells you how good he was. Yeah. Because he was at just the end. Even his down presence, down like, yeah. yeah. It was a great that conversation. Was it, man. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming through. Always that was great awesome. To see you, awesome. By the time y'all have me on y'all show, I'm like, y'all got Tony Allen on the show, Rondo on the show. Uh, was there any house on the show now? No, not yet. Uh, y'all can't have Eddie on here. Y'all can't have no, Eddie, Eddie on here. No, Eddie. Eddie. Yeah, you know, we got to holler at Eddie. Eddie got two sons coming up. He's he got some good coach. boys. I've been watching them. I'm watching they're the Bitter Fan. Yeah, they're really I good. I love Sorry. watching all y'all coaching now. It's, it's hilarious. I love watching, watching everybody Watching everybody AU games. You know the craziest moment of the team when I thought you were going to get hurt? I swear you were going to get hurt. Where? When you were going to arm wrestle Big Baby. Listen. That was nuts. A, slant, a big, got, big Baby. Oh, my God. My dog. The only one who believed in me right here. Look, you know, Doc, look. I thought so, you were going to get hurt. No, no we, I knew we, I wasn't going to get hurt. arm wrestling. I said, bet. I'm the only one that bet with him. But you didn't believe it. <laughs> no, I did. I did. I did. I did. There's I did. no so, way. So, so this is what we're going to show. So this is what you're looking for, man. Tell me out. So this is what you don't know. Kevin Garnett is not stronger than Big Baby. I'm not saying that. We we will. We will. Listen, we would go to the weight room in the morning. You know, in the morning used to be the jungle. I'll be with him. I'm the only one And we watched Big Baby and Leon Poe do 130s, 125s. I take my little 115s, and I'm like, okay, man, them guys are real strong. I got a ticket. I'm grown man strong, too. was against them. And that's what ruined me. When I saw how everybody I jumped over that. I was like, oh, word, that's what that you said? Crazy. You know the funniest thing? I was in the front, and Rondo, Rondo came and got me. <laughs> Y'all never knew that. No. Rondo said, like, coach, coach, you better get back there. I said, for what? Kevin and Mick Baby about to have an arm wrestle. Kevin can get hurt, coach. <laughs> And, wow. and when I was saw it, I'm like, this dude's gonna get hurt. Nah, when we slap. I thought, I thought Big Baby was just gonna. Nah. And I, I tell All you, right. know I use that as speeches now about Will. Really? Yeah. Because. There's no reason Big Baby shouldn't win that. 100%. And Kevin starts staring at him. I, I told you. <laughs> and I talked him. about doubt earlier. Yeah. I told y'all this. No, he started we slap, sweating. Bow. When we slapped, I was like, Look, you don't even oh, yeah. know. It stayed oh, he, right here. Listen. It stayed about, right here for about, about five minutes. Yes. yes. And then he waited till Baby yeah, got fella, tired. Big fella, I'm telling you, Big fella, you don't know none of this, Big fella. Big fella, this ain't what you want. It was amazing. Big fella, I know what I'm Oh, shit. We moving, Big fella. Oh, shit. Big fella, this moving, Big fella. He's sweating, drenching. I'm like, let's go. I'm like, let's go, Tim. Let's go. Uh, we were having a team meeting, and Joel asked Sam Kinsella, what was the most biggest athletic feat you ever seen? He said, oh, no, that's easy. And I'm thinking he's going to say a dunk yeah, or something. Yeah, he said, Kevin Garnett beat Big Baby in arm wrestling. <laughs> and I was like, what? And then I thought about it. He said, it was impossible. But when you it see when you see the hands together, because Big Baby got this big old hair, yeah, big, big old hair. I'll tell you, we slap. We right slap. Here. We're like this. It echo. I was like, ooh. <laughs> like, yeah. And then we ain't got no shirt on. We sweat. Y'all sweat. Man, it was some gorilla shit. <laughs> nah, Listen. Nah, was... Yeah, we turned the plane into a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> you know, Danny came in out to talk with me about it. I said, listen, the media's in the locker room. So they never get a time to ourselves. To themselves. So I said, I'm just going to let them play music. I'm going to let them turn the, the cars, uh, we used to call cars, it the, the, wild, cars. the wild zone or whatever. So I'm just going to let them turn the, the plane into nutty. That shit was G-U. <laughs> it, it was. G-U. Loud music, cards. It was the jungle. But then we lock in. It was and the jungle. Locked in. It was the jungle. Oh, that's what's up. Man. All right, guys, I got to go work, man. All I got to right. talk. Man, we out you here, man. You off today, ain't Thank you? Thank y'all, man. It's been perfect, man. what man. is that?